Hi, in this short video we will handle the email and SMS sending inside Splinks. Under section support we have messages and if I click on the messages I can create a new message. There is a large filtering options where I can choose for example the status of clients and different location. Now I'm changing uh, the status and location field and I will send the notification email for all blocked customers and the location Berlin. So the subject I put reminder for payment and then I type in some custom text that I want to send to my client. I can also attach the invoice and choose the invoices generated from 1st of February till the end of March and I will also choose to send out invoice only which is not paid. And uh, in this configuration I enabled to send email only to clients with the invoice. So better is to use the template. So that's what I'm doing now. So I'm choosing the template and I'm clicking on the template. And then you see that this is the text that I set up to the email. When I click send button, it still asks me to confirm the sending of mass email. So when I'm confirming it, then it's sending out to the customers. This is the way how we send mass emails to clients, but also we can send the same way the SMS or any type of the short message. So here I'm just typing the text. Again, I can use the template or I can use just a simple text. And then I can choose if I want to send this in, uh, message to the clients with uh, unpaid invoices. Okay, let's choose again clients that have invoices from 1st of February. If I choose any, it will send to anyone with the invoice. If I choose not paid to not paid clients, to not paid invoices. So here I'm clicking send that it shows me 23 clients. So it will send to all customers that have unpaid invoice. Uh, let's change the status and send it only to the block customers. So when I ch change it and click, you see that only three clients will receive this SMS message. So the email message and SMS message were sent. In the history, I can find out who received that messages from me. So you can see that now it's in status processing, but I can display the message itself and I can display the people who will receive it. So there are a list of people, of customers who receive the message and there is a text of message and now I can stop the sending. Yes, I want to cancel my sending messages and the same way I can check what's happening with my SMS messages with a history and that's the history of the batch. I can also check the log. So when I go to administration and there is an email and SMS logs. So it shows me each single email or SMS that was sent to the client and when it was sent. So here I open the SMS and because my SMS gateway doesn't work right now, so it gives me the errors. What I can do is I can configure my email and SMS and the configuration option. So in the configuration, we can set up first the templates that we will use. So the templates, uh, for example, for email are located under the email tab and there is a send invoice. You can edit the template or add own template and then use it with a mass sending of messages. And then the SMS is the same. So when I open the short message template, I can work with existing one, just change it a bit or I can add the new one. The general configuration for email and SMS is located under config. Under config we have a main section and there is an email and SMS configurations. The email where I can define my SMTP server, my username and passwords and test the connection with email server and the same way I can connect to any SMS gateway like here is an example SMS API. I define my username and the password and also the gateway link and save it. So that's all for the mass sending.